ています。Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the POSC Theatre. May we remind you to switch off all mobile phones. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to POSC Online. Tonight, we'd like to take you away from all the stress and worries of these present days and take you to warmer climates. We'd like to give you a unique adaptation of the music of South America, given to us by Bartosz Głowacki and Robert Luft. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Rob Luft, and I'm delighted to be joined uh, by the great Bartosz Gowadzki on accordion. And um, we opened up this concert for you with uh, a wonderful medieval piece by the Christian mystic Hildegard von Bingen. And the piece is called O Pastor Animarum. And as you heard, we slightly reimagined it in a kind of 21st century way. And now we're going to continue with a piece by one of our great heroes, the incredible uh, Argentinian bandonian player and composer Astor Piazzolla. And this is from a suite uh, he wrote called Sweet Troiliana. I guess he dedicated it to uh, the wonderful uh, Argentinian composer Annabel Troilo from the golden age of tango in the 1920s and 30s. Um, and this is a movement from that suite called Zita. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much. That was Zita by Astor Piazzolla, legendary tango composer from Argentina. Now we move to Brazil with Ernesto Nazareth and his Odeon. The piece was written uh, in the 30s and um, it was written for the uh, opening of the Odeon cinema in uh, Buenos Aires. Uh, Ernesto Nazareth was really famous for his writing for the silent movies. Um, so you can get a vibe of, of this piece and classical uh, Brazilian style of, of music, which is called choro, which means cry, but also uh, cry in the semi-happy way.
so much. We are going to continue now with a piece again by the great Astor Piazzolla and in fact we're going to play two movements from a suite he wrote called the Histoire du Tango and this first one is uh, a beautiful ballad called Café 1930 and the second movement that we're going to play is called Nightclub 1960 and I do believe that these are all inspired by different places uh, in his memory of uh, Buenos Aires, of course he was from Buenos Aires, and these are sort of snapshot pieces from around his, from his recollections of his, uh, of his past. So this, is, as I say, it is Café 1930. Thank you.
that was Nightclub from an uh, amazing composer, um, Astor Piazzolla. Now we move to Mexico, uh, and we just had the Day of the Dead um, celebration there. Uh, it's a huge uh, in any country, but especially in Mexico, because they are uh, treating this day as a really happy day to reunite with their uh, loved one. Um, and this piece it's, it's, was made famous by a um, great uh, animated movie, Coco, uh, and it's called La Llorona. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to go on now with uh, another piece from Brazil. This is another choro, similar to Odeon that we played earlier, but this time it's by a wonderful composer from the mid, uh, mid 1900s whose name was Jacob do Bandolim, and he played the Brazilian mandolin, which is called a bandolim. And there was this tradition in the uh, mid 20th century of all the Brazilian instrumentalists simply naming themselves after their instrument. So Jacob do Bandolim means Jacob of the Bandolim. There was another uh, percussionist who played the Pandera, which is a sort of tambourine. Uh, his name was Jackson, and he became Jackson do Pandero. And there's a whole list of these composers who, and instrumentalists from this time. 
And actually, I think Jacob de Vandelim was also a leading scientist in the uh, in in sort of Brazilian medicine in the 20th century. So he uh, he was really a a Jacob of all trades. So this is uh, his piece, Doce de Coco. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was Brazilian Choro. 
And so we stay in Brazil for the next piece by amazing multi-instrumentalist uh, Egberto Gismonti. He is a pianist as well as guitarist. Uh, he plays multiple instruments and um, he wrote this beautiful piece, Aqua e Vino, which is means, which means uh, water and uh, wine. So that's what we uh, musicians like. Thank you so much for joining us for this beautiful concert in this incredible space, the POSK Polish Centre. It's a joy to reconnect again with uh, Bartosz Kowatski here. We haven't played together in many, many moons due to the situation. And um, we're going to close out with one of our favourite uh, staple pieces to close concerts. It's a piece by Astor Piazzolla, which I'm sure you'll recognise. It's called Libertango. And um, it just remains for me to thank everyone here uh, on the sound, on the technicians, and thank you for having us to the POSC Polish Center. And um, thanks to Bartek for, uh, for playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 